bad laws make socially advantageous acts illegal and therefore leads to an undermining of morality in general. If the United States in the 1890s had had the, had had the laws that we now have, the laws supposedly to protect the worker, supposedly to protect the poor, if I existed at all today, I would be a citizen of the Soviet Union. That's not a prospect I would have relished. <laughs> but my parents emigrated here in the 1890s. They were in their teens. My mother was 14 and my father was 16 or 17. They were able to emigrate here. Why? Not merely because we had free immigration, but also, for example, because we had no minimum wage laws. Had there been minimum wage laws, there would have been no jobs for them to, uh, to uh, take. Minimum wage laws, like so many of these other interferences, though enacted in the name of helping the poor, in fact deny the very poorest opportunity. And you can go down the line. There would have been no entrepreneurs willing to provide employment under the only kinds of conditions and with the only kind of jobs that they were qualified for. The standard example of economists, of course, is, pri is, is tariffs or price control. If you have tariffs, smuggling is performing a socially virtuous and valuable act. And so you have smugglers who are now criminals. But they are people who are doing something that is good for everybody. The effect of this, again, you can go on and on. Price control and wage control has exactly the same effect and so on down the line. If you have bad laws, you create a situation in which it is socially virtuous for people to break it. And this, in turn, breaks down respect for laws in general and plays a not negligible factor, in my opinion, in the decline in, atti of the, in the attitude of mo toward law obedience and morality in recent decades. There probably is no more fundamental defense against tyranny than the ingenuity of the people in finding w a ways around laws that they don't agree with. Our masters found that out when they tried to prevent people from drinking hard liquor. And the American people demonstrated their capacity